Alright guys, in the previous video I showed you how to use management wear to extract from only a certain amount of zip codes. I think it was 20 zip codes from Zip Atlas and we extracted 100 contacts of plumbers that are in within those zip codes. And this is the resultant Excel file that we have. So what we're going to do is the most important data here that we want to look at are these websites. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select this column and control C and what we're going to do is we're going to ex import these but before we do we want to put them into a text document because this is how they read them so you put your cursor in there in in here and hit control V and now we have these websites and what we want to do here is save as and we're going to save them as a text document and I've already done this so they're right there save I would say replace it no problem but here they are and we're going to go ahead and import them into Scrapebox now if you don't have Scrapebox it is probably one of the I would say the best scraper out there and if you're very serious about being, becoming an internet marketer or you are an internet marketer you should have Scrapebox as part of your toolkit here so what we're going to do is we're going to import these and we're going to import and add to the current list and of course we don't have any in our harvester we don't have any until now when I import them but now that they're imported what we want to do is we want to go ahead and trim these to the root now by trimming to root that means anything after like .net or .com is going to be taken off so we're going to trim to root and you can see how it cleans them up and next what we want to do is we want to remove any duplicate URLs so we started out with 100 and now we only have 79. And the reason why we want to do that, for example, there might be mrplumbing.com forward slash one part of the city and forward slash another part of the city. So what we want to do is we want to get rid of all those and just clean up our list. So now that we have a cleaned up list here, what we want to do is we want to go to our add-ons. And these are free add-ons from Scrapebox. You can either, they have several different add-ons. They also have uh, add-ons that you can purchase. In this case, we're going to look at the Scrapebox Alexa Rank Checker. Click on that, and it's going to come up. What we're going to do is we're going to import these URLs from the Scrapebox Harvester. Now, all that all that did was move these URLs on this window over to this window. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start. And what this is going to do is going to search through these 79 URLs that we have. It's going to check for the popularity and the reach. And I'll explain these numbers to you here in a second. But what we want to do is we want to export these as an Excel file. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at these. I'm going to just say name these Chicago underscore plumbers underscore, I'll just say clean, because we're cleaning them up. We're, we're actually looking and filtering these websites, and we're going to look to see which websites actually have traffic coming to them. So uh, what we'll do here is we'll go to our desktop, and here we are in the file that we just saved, the Chicago Plumbers Clean file, and you see here the popularity and reach. Now, the, with the exception of the negative numbers, the number one website in the world is most likely Google or Facebook or Twitter. It's one of those three. So the lower the number, with the exception of it being negative, the better the website. The higher the number, the less popularity it has, and that's the same with the reach. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and delete here, and what we want to do is... Uh, select these two columns and this little thing will pop up here exclamation point like what do you want to do with these I want to convert them to numbers and then I want to sort them so I'm going to sort them from smallest to largest and you can see all these negative ones so what this means and eventually it'll, it'll get better but I'll explain this here by just showing you these two here like ferrariplumbing.net these guys probably don't have any or much organic traffic coming to their site and neither do they have pay-per-click traffic they could but maybe not as much for example as Roto-Rooter. Roto-Rooter is a national brand 
it has a much lower number. So the lower the number, the better the website, with the exception of it being negative. So what we want to do next is we want to take a look at these websites. These are all websites that Alexa deems worthy, if you will. And we want to go ahead and explore them. In the next video, what we're going to do, I'll say I'll take this one here. In the next video, we're going to take Jim Wagner Plumbing, and I'm going to introduce you to a next the next marketing tool, which I call SpyFu. And we're going to explore Jim Wagner Plumbing to see what kind of paid traffic they have coming to their site, what kind of organic traffic, and so forth. So at this point, um, I'll go ahead and pause this video, but I really appreciate you guys reading my blog, and I'll continue providing you guys great information.